YouTube. I am making this video today on how to make one of these, which is basically an array of OLED displays connected with a multiplexer or an I2C multiplexer, because there's many different multiplexers, but you want the I2C one um, to work for this project. So you will notice on all my videos i try to use as few technical words as possible to help everyone understand my content i was actually going to make this display to somehow turn my little old honda into a smart car but maybe sometime in the future anyhow today we are only connecting the oled displays i um We'll connect them to sensors in another video to display sensor data. But for this, this is only displaying the data that you're going to put into the code. So you can put text, you can put pictures. I did forget to connect the A pins to ground um, to make the address for this multiplexer to start at zero. If you don't do that, it'll still work, especially with the code that I have that I can provide you guys too. This is the way that you assign an address to the multiplexer because this address, this connecting these A pins to ground, we're assigning the multiplexer an address of zero. That's where it starts assigning addresses from, starting at zero. So this is zero, one, two, three. Anyways, whatever you want zero or the first display to have, it will be under the zero code. You don't need to have a nano for this. You can actually use any other Arduino board um, as long as you have the the five volt pin, the ground pin, the um, and you know the SDA and SCL pins. Whatever board you're using, mirror those same connections from a wire to the multiplexer. By that same logic, you will connect the displays SCL and SDA pins to the multiplexers SDA and SCL pins. That's all you're doing is just matching the pins. Um, the serial clock and the serial data, go to serial clock and serial data here. And the only thing the multiplexer does is plug all that stuff in and give it addresses to assign code to. In the code, you have little blocks that you write information um, on, whether it's increase text size or change text color or change the font. And then another display, you'll just want a very small font or maybe just a simple animation. Who knows? The world, the world is your oyster. Be careful with these OLED displays. They do break. They are glass. I broke my middle um, OLED here, but this should be a triangle all the way at the top. But now it is broken, so that's why it's cut off. So let's get to it. All right, so grab your development board. In this case, it's an Arduino Nano, your I2C multiplexer, your I2C OLED displays, your breadboard, some wires. Once you have everything, go ahead and place your multiplexer on the breadboard. Make sure it's all the way in. And connect your Arduino to the multiplexer and the breadboard. Once you have your OLED displays arranged on the breadboard, go ahead and start connecting all of the connections to so the voltage to five volts, the ground to ground, the serial clock to serial clock pins on the multiplexer, the SDA to SDA or SD pins. And you'll see, I just make sure the numbers match. Um, there's like pairs of SDA and SC. I also forgot to place the um, power going from the Arduino to the breadboard and then the breadboard to the multiplexer. So once I did that, it works fine. As it came on, it did some kind of weird thing. That is because the code is actually looping. It is better to use a shimmy tool to disassemble the OLEDs because using my hands didn't really work out well for me, so. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the code, I have already a file that I have worked on. The link to this code is in my description, and if you have a different size screen, go ahead and change these two variables here, 128 by 64 years is, um, if it's smaller, 128 by 32. So what I did with this code was I actually took a few pieces from the sample code here and I copied and pasted it 
So one of the, all of these functions right here, I grabbed a couple, made the triangle. That's what this is. So I pulled this guy's original code and then I edited it with the with a sketch from the standard Adafruit example uh, functions. I took functions from the Adafruit example code and placed them under um, certain LED displays. And for example, these are different. Why is that indented? You can go ahead and use this code or create your own, or you can create your own from this code, much like I did with this guy's. Not sure um, how to pronounce that. Hi, Develve. Anyway, this is the start address of the, and this, if you can see, recognize, that is the multiplexer chip, and that is the corresponding address. It is this address when we connect the A0 through A3 pins to ground from the multiplexer. These define the addresses of the, or the type of OLED display that you have. If your displays do not work, you can go ahead and change this to D. It's either 3C or 3D. Um, either or, just if it doesn't work with one, just replace it with the other. Go ahead and upload that to your code or verify it first, then upload it. It will work um, if everything was done correctly. And if you want to go ahead and change the displays, all you have to do is um, where it has print line, that's where you literally print a line on the display with whatever is in parentheses, quotes and parentheses. And this set cursor just sets the cursor quite literally, um, just like on a computer mon monitor at um, this bit. The first number is how far from the left it is, and the second is how far above or below is the text. And I believe it is out of 128 by 64. So that would be however many until 128 by however many until 64. So you can also change your picture if you want a picture here just get the same bitmap address code or arduino code as they call it it is not really binary i have tried binary images here and um they don't work they actually work usually with marlin which is like the firmware for 3d printers you can change pictures on that screen but anyhow so you can either like comment or describe and uh, describe <laughs>